I've just got a new CNC. I'm very excited to be using this. I've got a slightly, I guess, an upgraded version of the more kind of common Chinese CNC routers. This is a 30 by 40. I would have liked a 60 by 40, but as you can see, I'm in a really tight space here. It's got this uh, pretty thick aluminium plate on it, just attached to this T-slot. And for the time being, a lot of the stuff that I'm going to be practicing is just probably with, with wood. I'm probably not going to get into met metal at the moment because I obviously need to learn, you know, the cam and Fusion 360 and stuff like that. Today, we're going to just take this out and we're going to put on a, uh, a plywood base so I can then just screw wood into it and we're going to do some test cuts and we try and make something for the, the screen printing studio upstairs. So let's give it a go. So I've just designed two really simple hooks for the screen printing table upstairs. And if we go into the cam section of Fusion 360, you can see that I've got two pockets here that need to be cut. So I've put them in first. Usually you want to do the pockets and inside stuff before you go ahead and do the outer contour cuts. I actually forgot to do the pockets in the second cut that you'll see in the video. But we've got two pockets and then we jump into the 2D contour. The first cut I did a full depth of cut of 12 mil, but you'll see that I actually stopped that. Uh, it was making too much mess. So I decided to go ahead in the second cut to go with a three mil depth of cut and it's done it in four stages here. And with Fusion 360, it's really good. You can actually simulate the cut so you can see it moving around here, making sure that it's not gonna hit anything and there's not gonna be any problems with the cut. So once it looked all good, I exported the G-code. So now it's time to put the bit into the spindle. I always make sure that I've got the power turned off whenever I've got my hands near the spindle and I'm changing bits and stuff like that. And this is a quick tip for anyone who is new to CNC and you've got a new CNC machine, make sure you buy cheap end mills. Don't go out spending a lot of money on them at the moment. While I was zeroing in this job, I put it too deep into the plywood on the z-axis. I moved it on the x-axis without lifting up, lifting up the spindle and I snapped the end mill before I even did any cutting with the CNC machine. So don't worry about it. You're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna snap end mills, but it's better that you snap some cheap ones instead of expensive ones. These cost me, I think it was about eight pound for a pack of 10. So they're, they're less than a pound each. So it's really not a problem if you break them. So you can see here, this is the 11 mil. I think it was 12 mil actually, depth of cut. It was kind of okay, but it was just kicking out too much. So I decided to change it. And this is the three mil depth for cut version. It's still the same bits, the same spindle speed, feed rate and feed per revolution. But here I forgot to actually add the pockets. So I had to drill these in by hand, which wasn't too much of a problem. Now I'm just giving it a quick sand. I was able to actually cut the, the hooks out with a, with a Stanley knife. I need to get some chisels or something to, uh, to take these out properly in the future. But this is it, it's a really simple job, but it's just kind of getting my feet wet with CNC. I'm hoping to do kind of more complicated projects and we're gonna get onto obviously metal engraving uh, and other bits and pieces in metal, which I'm excited about. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you later.